so we to, took uh, the opportunity of this platform uh, to introduce a new range of synthetic uh, motorcycle oils. So these oils are specially formulated uh, to meet the requirements of uh, your latest uh, uh, high performance uh, bikes uh, and other two wheelers, uh, you know, which are coming up. Um, so uh, we are very, uh, very, very uh, bullish, very positive uh, that, you know, these new products will uh, aid our overall aspirations for growth. So it helps us to like sort of, you know, uh, promote Velvex uh, to our target audience, uh, which includes the automotive OEMs, uh, the aftermarket uh, component suppliers, as well as our channel partners. Uh, so we're using this platform uh, for both uh, promoting Velvex as well as our parent company, uh, Nandan Petrochem Limited. Uh, so we are a large player, uh, large supplier of uh, automotive and industrial lubricants uh, to the automotive industry. Uh, so this platform gives us an opportunity to connect uh, with existing customers and also uh, to promote uh, our offerings uh, to you know the potential uh, uh, customers. Uh, so we uh, in fact inaugurated the the booth uh, through uh, the vice president of Kirloska Oil Engines Limited, uh, who is looking after the aftermarket. Uh, we have been associated with uh, Kirloska Oil Engines for the last 23 years. Uh, so it's been a long association. Uh, we use this platform to unveil a new range of products as well. And uh, uh, a lot of our distribution uh, channel partners are also uh, bracing uh, the stall over the next three days uh, uh, to come and see the new products and you know what the new offerings that the company has. So we're investing very heavily in the brand Velvex. Uh, we recently had a logo refresh uh, of the brand as well and uh, with the logo refresh the entire packaging uh, has also evolved uh, to meet the latest contemporary uh, standards of uh, the next generation. Uh, today uh, Gen Z is uh, you know playing a you know, big role so we are targeting the youth uh, through the brand refresh through all our communication. Um, um, so uh, yeah so we're using this platform sort of like to you know sort of uh, push the new brand uh, in the aftermarket. Uh, also, you know, uh, it gives uh, confidence uh, to the existing as well as the potential channel partners when they see us, you know, present over here, uh, when they see our association with various OEMs uh, in the country, both in the lubricants as well as in the AdBlue space. So we are developing the aftermarket both for lubricants and AdBlue under the same Velvex brand. And uh, uh, as I said, our target audience is the youth of the country. Uh, we are a young brand. Uh, so we are aligning uh, to the aspirations of the youth. Uh, we want to do something, you know, different, uh, you know, for the youth of the country. And that's how, you know, we are positioning ourselves. So then that's the way we are developing our aftermarket. We've got a, you know, range of products for all each segment. In the lubricant space, uh, you know, we supply for two-wheelers, three-wheelers, uh, passenger cars, uh, the agri-industry, uh, construction equipment, commercial vehicle. I would say two-wheeler industry has been uh, pretty robust. Uh, uh, we're seeing, you know, uh, good uh, growth in the aftermarket in the two-wheeler space. Uh, also, the Agri has been, um, you know, uh, uh, sort of a growth engine for uh, the organization. Uh, uh, in spite of the uh, 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 the tractor industry not doing particularly well in this uh, uh, in this uh, financial year, but the aftermarket still remains to be strong uh, for the Agri segment. Uh, we're also doing very well in the commercial vehicle space. Uh, largely due to, uh, you know, our market leadership in the AdBlue uh, uh, domain. Uh, so today, uh, in the commercial vehicle space, uh, we're supplying to uh, almost 90% of uh, the automotive uh, OEMs, as well as the off-highway OEMs who are coming up with the SCR technology. Uh, we are meeting their uh, requirements as well. And along with that is also, that association is helping us uh, to promote our Velvex band also in the commercial vehicle space. So largely, I would say that, uh, you know, uh, most of the segments, you know, are doing well for us. Uh, passenger car segment, uh, we are still, you know, developing our uh, strengths over there. Uh, so that's going to be the next uh, growth engine uh, for the Velvex brand. So we always work on a, you know, lead capacity basis. Uh, so for the lubricants, uh, we've got uh, three plants, uh, which are in the western part of the country. Uh, they are all uh, having, uh, you know, lead capacities to meet our growth aspirations. Uh, we've been investing very heavily in our R&D as well as in the automation of our facilities. Uh, I would say we are very close to achieving uh, Industry 4.0 in all our manufacturing facilities. 
everything is automated everything is monitored uh, so there is uh, you know very negligible chance of any you know quality defects and uh, one of our usps in the industry has been you know our quality uh, standards and quality assurance so which were able to maintain uh, through the latest innovations uh, with respect to uh, adblue we currently have 18 manufacturing plants which are spread across the country by uh, the end of uh, 2024 uh, we are looking at you know having about 30 plants uh, spread across the country so we're expanding uh, very very aggressively in increasing the number of locations uh, uh, for adblue uh, all our plants be it lubricants adblue are all iso 9000 iso 14000 certified they're all uh, also certified uh, under iatf 16949 which is the automotive standard so which gives a lot of uh, you know comfort and confidence to our end customers uh, the adblue plants are also certified by bis uh, there is uh, very soon uh, a quality control order on adblue which is going to be uh, implemented by the government by which the bi certification is going to be mandatory uh, we took the initiative in uh, ensuring this um, implementation issuance of the quality control order and uh, we are happy that uh, our effort over the last three years is uh, paying uh, dividends and we were able to sort of you know uh, it's come to the stage of final implementation so by virtue of this quality control order each and every brand selling adblue in the country will have to have the manufacturing facilities uh, approved and certified by BIS. So with the OEMs, basically, we you know uh, our mission is that we're not a product company, we're a solutions company. So whenever we you know engage with an OEM, we don't only discuss you know, on the product offering, but it's on a solution. So we try to understand the problem statement of an OEM. And based on the problem statement, what are the various solutions that we are able to offer? So, for example, in the lubricant space, uh, most of the OEMs today, you know, have aspirations to develop their aftermarket, to leverage their distribution network of spare parts for lubricants as well. So, we help them design the entire aftermarket strategy, right from, uh, you know, uh, right from, you know, the pack design uh, to the nomenclature to the grades, you know, which they need to sell uh, to the entire route to market uh, strategy is prepared by us. Uh, we discuss with them very closely. We handhold them uh, in the initial few years till the time you know they are self-sufficient. Take it ahead in the ad blue space. Uh, we work on various dispensing technologies uh, with the OEMs, thereby eliminating the need for plastic packaging as well as being cost competitive in the marketplace. Um, so there are you know we are working on say ad blue on wheels right now. Uh, in the lubricant space, we also are working with various OEMs in um, you know uh, in fuel economy. Uh, uh, you know increase uh, you know so sort of value addition in the formulations yeah. we work very closely with the R&D teams uh, you know for the new product developments the new specifications be it CK4 or CK4 plus FA4 uh, uh, so you know so you know we're constantly engaging uh, uh, with the OEMs uh, to understand you know what are the challenges and to you know give you know our solution based on the challenge you know it's not like one size fits all we can't go and like sort of you know give the same uh, solution to every OEM so I would say uh, our USP is that we are very, very, you know, keen listeners. We understand, we listen uh, to the problem and, you know, we offer a tailor-made solution to uh, mitigate those problems.